Hello everybody, Bill Plains here. Now before we get too deep into the video, I wanted to give a shout out to my patrons over there on Patreon. So thank you to everybody who is supporting me over there on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanted to help the channel. So I know I have not been overly active over the past few days. I know I say this in every video, but over the past few days I have really not been active. I've missed a few comments, I'm sorry about that. But I actually have made quite a bit of progress on the B36. Now, I know you're probably seeing some things here and you're wondering what's going on, so I'm gonna have to explain some stuff here. But most of what I've done is right here, which is the tail segment. Now I know the lighting isn't the best for this video, but whatever. So I've actually gotten the vertical stabilizer on. Is this the final design? No. The white there, that's actually parts that I've sent off to get printed. So don't be fooled, that will be gray. <laughs> And for the fuselage itself, I've actually gotten most of it done back here. I still obviously need to do some of the very, very back fuselage and some of the appendages and everything, but past that are pretty good. And the fuselage, it's actually holding up pretty well. I thought it might struggle with warping, but it actually is holding up pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with it. Another thing that I was able to do is sort of start scaling out where I'm going to put the prints. So obviously this here isn't to go here this is just a piece of paper and i just set it here you know to sort of see what this looks like but yeah this is a huge wing now i have the parts here i'm gonna eventually send them off but yeah i'm gonna print this thing hopefully kind of like the 787 over there but we'll see now i did place this little goblin over here for some scale and i thought this was an interesting build i know a while back i made a video on it i think it was actually like over a year ago where i made a video on this little goblin here and this is a little accessory that goes with the B-36. It actually folds up the fit inside of the bomb bay. So that's actually really cool. And I put a little minifigure here for scale. And that's one thing I still think a lot of people are trying to understand with scale here is how big this thing is. So I'll try to give you a bit of context here. So I'm going to put the minifigure directly in the center and back way up here. Whoa. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there you go. You can see just how big this thing is. Now, I know it's still probably kind of hard to understand, but... Try to get a better angle of it from this very front here. Whoa, way up there, kind of like that. Yeah, so <clears throat> this thing is huge. I'm still obviously working on some parts of it, and I am working on the very back of the tail. So hopefully I can actually get the plane done very soon here. But yeah, it's been a lot of really great progress on this thing, and I'm actually very happy with how it's coming out. I'm obviously trying to strengthen the wings a little bit more because I want these things to be really strong and actually hold up well. So yeah, that's something else I'm working on. But yeah, I'm also, I don't know if I showed you this in the last video, but there's the interior up here, so yay. And this does break down, so, oh, one thing I want to point out, it is tail heavy. So right here, these are sort of temporary, I'm just putting them in here, but these are the ballast bricks, you can see here, ugh. These are these this black ballast bricks, and I'll just add them if it needs it. So if the tail starts becoming more heavy, I'll just add more of them. So yeah, that's what's going on up here. That's how I'm going to try to keep this thing balanced. It is tail heavy, so I'm going to have to load it with some weights up here. But, you know, whatever. I did get both the bomb bays, and I'm, I'm not sure if I showed you this in the last update, but it might as well, you know. So we got two bomb bays in there. They're fairly large. I know the real B36 had the snap action doors. But I just decided to put normal bomb bay doors in because of the scale we're working with on this aircraft. We can't really have those. But yeah, so a lot of progress has been made to the tail. It's sort of just their basic progress. But I did get those little uh, gunning sights, I believe is what they were. Those little glass dome things. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully, I mean, this has been a very quick update. I just wanted to update everybody on what's going on with the aircraft. And hopefully, hopefully, the next... Uh, few days here, I'm not sure a few days, but maybe the next few weeks, I can get this thing done because obviously I've been making really fast progress and I'm really happy with what we've been able to do so far. So that's all I really have for this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you'll come back for more. That's all I really have for this one. Bye for now.